Hey mages, welcome and welcome back to Total MTG. Today we're looking at one of the decks that I featured in my Explorer video of giving you three good budget decks. And today we're getting some gameplay from the Mono Black Control deck. Now this just has just the three rares and it's Gonti Lord of Luxury. Death Touch 2, 3, 4 mana. Just a really cool card and I've always loved this when this was in uh, standard in its time. When it ends the battlefield, look at the top four cards to target opponent's library, exile one and face down. You get to play that card for as long as it remains exiled and spend mana of any color just to cast that spell. So we can play anything practically that we take from our opponents and hopefully it's something really good. Maybe one of their strongest creatures, wing cons, anything like that. Gonti has that. So... Mono Black, we do have a bit of a combo in this deck, um, so to speak. Anyway, we have a Dockside Chief, sacrifice an artifact or creature, you get to draw a card. Now, Retributive Bond. When the bond is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, it's five damage to any target. So we can have this on the field and use it as a pinger. One deals three damage to any target for three, tap, tap, and then we get to sack it. We want to sack this, put it into the graveyard, and do five damage. Absolutely brilliant. Now, also, Deadly Dispute can sacrifice an artifact, so we've got multiple ways of having to do that. And then we'll just be beaten down with our creatures. Uh, we've got Shambling, Yarrux as well that can be pumped up. We've also got Playcrafter, but we're generally using that to get you know things sacrificed. But we're looking to probably sacrifice the Shambling guy to maybe potentially one minus one one a creature or create a treasure or something like that we've got ravenous chupacabra comes in destroys and then attacks as a two two um, and then like i said we've got gonti so we've got a few creatures that can sort of you know attack on the ground and chip away at a little bit of damage potentially and then the wand four of these in there five damage to any target it's a real fun fun deck um, obviously zero rares we do know explorer is very heavy rare meta so this is a deck for you to you know new players to the format or if you want to just give something a try you could potentially change gonti for something else if you don't want to you know risk the rares for this um, but it is a very good card and if you want to you know make mono black control better uh, this is one of the cards that i would have in the deck as well now the land base is very simple we've got 20 swamps we've got two wishes cottages in there uh, this can put a target creature card from your graveyard and top of your library as long as you control three or more swamps so we have the recursion to get back over our dark size ravenous gonti get that back and just replay the the effects that these creatures do when they come into play as well removal of course we've got a lot we've got fatal push great card for exploring there's a one mana infernal grasp as well elspeth nightmare destroy target creature opponent controls then we get to look at the hand and then we can exile a graveyard in case there's any graveyard shenanigans going on Plague does removal, Heroes Downfall does removal, Ravenous Chupacabra does removal as well. So yeah, very much removal. And in this budget rare deck, we're you know we're relying on either Wing Con B and our wand if we can do that damage. Life gain decks will be a problem, but we can't, you know, there's gonna be decks that are gonna be a problem in every single deck you make. Uh, but if we can keep it down to a minimum if we can um i was trying to think of a card maybe to recur the wand if we could from the graveyard so if you've got any ideas for that put that down in the description i would love to see and that may be a good addition to the deck to get it back from the graveyard um just let me know i'll be very interested to see that uh, so we're going to take some gameplay now and hopefully have some fun with this deck and hopefully get some wins and wand people Right, but now we've got a couple of lands, four drops, but we do have a shambles, so probably gonna keep this because there's some good four drops there. We do have our wand in hand as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably give this one a go. A bit sketchy hand, but the land draw there was brilliant. Okay, shambles comes in. Nice, him taunty dridge over there. Oh, oh, what are we playing against here, eh? Two shambles is nice. Let's get in and peck away for the one. Play another shambles. Helps with the mana, potentially. And with, like I say, pecking away, pecking away till you get to the one where you do more damage. Goro, okay. Who's your controller of haste for one? Oh, my God. What are we playing against here? <laughs> like I said, this is such, such a heavy rare meta. 
Uh, we're going in here. Because uh, opponent won't block. And then we will go with Ben Lurker. Just in case something crazy comes down. Exile a card, please, Oshiro. Okay, there you go. Well, opponent's deck is the complete opposite to ours. Pimped, red, everything. I love it. It's probably their, their favourite deck we're playing against here. <laughs> oh, dear. Hilarious. Creatures you control get a haste. Okay, it begins to put X-Men on counters. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be blocking. Right, Chipper Capras, come on land, please. Oh, dear, we didn't draw the lands. Okay, so we now play Yadux. Opponent exiles another card. Lovely. What was that? Okay, Ray. Uh, no attacks this time. No attacks this time. What was that? Ray, target response for minus one. Ronus isn't a bad draw. It's Death Dutch. It's indestructible. Creatures get a haste. Okay. X11 counter. Well, we've got to deal. With, we've got to deal with some shenanigans here, haven't we? Uh, we've got to deal with some shenanigans. So we will go. Now we're going to kill that next turn. Does a first strike, so we're not actually going to get the damage in. Okay. Um, so block, block, like that. Take the two. Um, treasures. Treasure. Treasure. Chupacabra coming in. Even if we don't draw land, get rid of that Goro. Infernal Grasp as well. Is nice. Let's play Chupi. Let's get rid of Goro. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, and do no attacks. So this um, can't attack or block unless power four or greater. Which is not too bad. That helps us out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that's annoying. Um, that's annoying. Um, let's uh, block there. <laughs> and take the... F oh my days, what do we do here? Take the four... What are we playing against? Fatal push. Love it. Okay. Um, Chupa. Kill. Now, can't attack or block unless another creature. Right. Um, I'm going to attack. What does this do? Legend of Christmas. So we need to hope they don't draw a creature. Of course they draw... Um, Gouter. Um <laughs> I think we block again. Now we can infernal grasp over there. Uh which will help. We haven't drawn that other land. Um Oh dear. Hmm. We don't want this one attacking. So I'm doing this now. Um, and I'm going to do no attacks end turn because we've just got like a plethora of massive creatures coming at us level 3 okay land nice right come on no we still didn't draw that land this doesn't work Destroy. this doesn't work um, I still think we need to keep fatal push up so I can't attack in we need Gonti. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I don't know how. Um, yeah, I don't know how. Other land, get Gonti in. This is always going to be a threat, but it can't block yet. Casting legendary spells is good. Our turn. Come on, land. There's a land. Okay, right. Gonti. 
maybe opponent has something that we can help deal with this. Um, minus. Uh, if that creature is white, oh, that's annoying. Um, haste whenever a creature goes with haste tag, create a trap tracker token. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just go that. Um, still no attacks. I'm still holding on yet because we know shenanigans can happen. I'd like to another land. Okay. Let's play another creature. Uh, which means I can attack with one. Create a tap treasure token. Hit him with their Ognis. Their pimped out Ognis. And turn. Okay. I mean, maybe I'm being a bit careful here, but you know they could just attack with haste and kill us. They are drawing lands. I mean, maybe if I can draw another one. No, no other creature. Um, right. Let's go. Just attack with Ognis again. Create another tap treasure token. Seems good. Um, play a wand. Play a wand so we can get the five damages ready. Leave up fatal push and two blockers. Oh, Basoju, Basoju. Well, that's what they had in hand. They had a Basoju. Um, take action. Um, submit one. And five damage to opponent. That was a mistake, opponent. Potentially. Because now we can attack for the win. Didn't want to destroy my wands. Can we get... Oh, we get an absolutely amazing win against that pimped out rare deck. What a win. Oh, my days. That was absolutely amazing. Oh. Right, here we go. Open hand, we've got lands. Nice. Turn to Yarok. Yeah. Bit of a curve there, so I think we key that. As you can see, rocking the damnation sleeves and the black lotus. Very on theme for this deck. And of you know, an avatar that matches as well. Uh not necessary. But hey, might as well use the aesthetics if we got them. So this comes in, each opponent exiles a card from the hand, and wow, we are playing a power deck, because there's Oogs. There is Oogs. Um, right, let's, um, let's, let's have a little look next turn. We'll destroy the Artificer attacking, um, opponent looking a ramp big. So this could be a very interesting game. Another Artificer comes in, but we're coming in with the Chupa, the Chupa Chupa Cabra. Let's have a look at what they got in hand. Um, we will get rid of Forsaken Monument. We will play. We'll play troopers. Kill that artificer. Boom. And attack him with a fen lurker. So, stone core we can deal with with infernal grasp. Sad robot comes in. Basic land. Mobilize can turn into a creature. Ooh, okay. Gonti. Exile target opponent's graveyard is nice. Now, this will get them to draw a card. Um, we really want to save this for that. So, I think um, that does make us pump, though. So, let's let's just attack in. We'll save the other one. They're going to block with Solemn because they want to draw a card. That's fine. Um, we can play Witch's Cottage. Um, resolve. We can put that back on top. Uh, which is cottage and then we put that back on the top and we're gonna play a Gionti first time playing the Gionti and I think we will get Oogs let's get Oogin so it's not going too bad at the moment against a nice strong you know heavy rare colorless deck 
got black there as well, but I do love colourless decks. Uh, majority colours, really fun. Uh, Chupacabra coming in next. So potentially if they play, it's protection from multi-colours, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, the Relic. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, let's attack him for three. We didn't draw that land. Um, I th We can't play this colour spell because that, because this does cost six. I think we just leave up removal. Uh, what does the cryptic do? One second, let's draw a card. I don't know if you control five. Okay. We do need that other land. Uh, Pony knows we have Ravenous Chupacabra, so they're probably waiting for... Oh, they drew your oaks. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. No, it's a little bit annoying that we can't destroy that with there. Um... Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. We do have another one. Um, we will be attacking this next to kill this, though. So that seems like a good option for us. Graph diggers go. Cards in graveyards and libraries. Um, okay. Hmm, okay. Well, we're not really casting from there, so we're okay there. Um, we use a wand. So let's kill Ugin. That's dead. Um, let's play Gonti. And we will take... Uh, are we gonna, uh, I think we take the monument. Taking off our opponent's best guards. That's what we like to do. We, we're missing out of a land, though, which is really annoying. Uh, opponent still knows we have Chupacabra, so playing the Stone Cold Serpent isn't really going to do a lot. So this, you may cast them over Exiled. Like it doesn't say Exiled, so we'd be in a little bit of trouble. Um... Could attack us with the 3-3. Three, three. Myriad Construct. Okay. I mean, we've got two kill spells here. Um, so we're going to go in with Chupacabra now. And then we'll kill the Myriad. Phantom is waiting for us to use that, but doesn't know we still have more removal. Attacking for three. end the turn okay hopefully tap out for the stone coil and then we go infernal grasp attack for five play ugin we could even just play our wand prefer to play that when we've got more you know ways to sack though okay another myriad construct um, um, do we just kill again? Uh, because the target spell sacrifice it. When it becomes a target of a spell, sacrifice and create any number of kind of equal to Togue. Equal to its power. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. I mean, they would get like four one ones there. Um, I mean, do we give them the four one ones? Okay, a number one got a hmm. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Let's kill it. They get four one ones. We're fine with that. There's another Gonti. Um Let's attack all in. We're going in. Now we can give this plus one one and a pump. So block in there, block in there. Um, are they double blocking there? If they single block, we might as well pump. Okay, so should we just should we just get rid of them all? Now we can pump this twice. 
Uh, I'd like them to block Gonti, but they're not going to. Okay. Um, do we want to pump? Yeah. Let's pump. And then we'll play the Retributive Wand. Wand comes in. So three, deal one damage. When he's put into a graveyard, five damage to any target. Noise. So we can pay three, just get rid of that blocker. Now I'm assuming Stone Coil will be coming in eventually. Um, no, it's another sad robot. Okay. Really holding back on that Stone Coil. I wonder what that other card is. I'd like to get to look at it somehow. Okay. Deadly Dispute. Lovely. Um, does mean they get to draw another card. Um, let's kill that. One damage. Lovely. Um... Attack all in. Now, we might just let that go, you know. Should we let that go? Hmm. I'm tempted, you know. I am tempted. Um. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to let it... I'm going to kill the Sodom. Like this. Pump up. Because it just means they block the Gonti next turn. Pony gets to draw a card means we have some nice stuff still to do. Because this trades off with this straight away. Opponent needs to draw a card, because we can just attack in. We can sack this for five damage to opponent. we still got their cards. I still really would like to play their cards, but... Okay, Artificer comes in, just more removal. For us to deal, we have to re not remove more creatures to block us, which is a little bit annoying. Another relic. Three, six, seven, and now they could be getting ready for an Ugin. Uh, cheaper Cabra is going to come in and destroy the Artificer. Lovely. That goes. We keep Deadly Dispute. Okay. Um, hmm. Annoying. Hmm. Do I let that go? Yeah, I think I do. I'll let that one go. So we know now what the removal was. Uh, end of turn, we will sack our wand. And do five damage. Oh, they found the Ugin. Damn it. Now, this is going to have to be minus four. So, if they do minus four this, three damage to anything. Okay. Um, I think. Um, what, do I, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think we'll do this, you know. Um, five damage. Draw shambles. Opponent down to five. I nearly thought about doing the Ugin, but oh, if only we had another one. We need to be able to draw cards. Um, one or more colours. That's really annoying. Um, bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. now that still gets Ugin'd. What do we do? Ugin is a problem. We need our hero's downfall. Let's play Gonti. And we get... Okay. That's not too bad, you know. Um, I think I just go Shambles. And we have to maybe try and get the... Um, I don't really want to play that. 
Right, in turn, two creatures, so they might have to X. Mm. They do have Soul Serpent. The Ogans really turned the game. That was a great top draw from opponent. But you've got to remember, this is super budget, everyone. And look what we're playing against, and we're making them struggle and get the win. Um, yep, okay. We are battling. We can play Stone Cold Serpent really big, but then so can they. They can gain seven life. I mean, we need to be able to attack Ugin. Khan, okay. Damn it. They deliberately tapped there. I'm not sure why. Because they... Uh, okay, Colors Construct. It's a 4-4. Four, four. We'll put a little stop there. Just so we can attack that. Um, they may play the serpent as well. Nothing else coming in. Okay. Are we going to go in with our infernal grasp? Second main. Okay. Yep, yeah, they are going to play it. Um, destroy. There we go. Our turn. Uh, a swamp isn't really what we want. Um. Oh, there's no way we can deal with that because there's nothing we can do. This only destroys colorless. Um. Let's play this. Hmm. Do no attacks. Unfortunately, Ugin's going to get the game for them because they can minus 10, gain 7 life, and put loads of permanence into play. Oh, this is a good game. Even though probably now we're not going to win. I'm not one just to put a video in with just the wins, though, because losses can be amazing, too, and this is a close one. I mean, maybe I should have got the Ugin down. But when we, we we had Dockside, we only needed to draw some more recursion, you know, some more, one of our wands. Um, put a card in his opponent's hand, the other be exiled, okay. Can have a swamp. Can have a swamp. Now we can plus this. <laughs> we can play this. We don't have any colours, man. That's the problem. Uh, potentially. I was going to say we could try and kill something, but... Oh, well, Hero's Downfall is amazing. Okay. I'm going to kill that. I should have not killed that, but I'm worried they can make creatures out of that, so I think that's the best thing to do there. Um, we could then obviously attack straight in. They've got animal sanctuaries, one counter on birds. What have we got here? Construct, construct. They can turn that into a creature. Anything else can go into a mobile desert can. Um, I think we probably go for Khan, though, don't we? Don't we go for Khan? Yeah. Hold on. Let's go for it. So they have to block with a six six. They're blocking with both. Um so we go like that. Khan stays. We will play the dock side and just hope for uh, they haven't topped another Ugin draw a card okay what, a f what an opening game this is jeez 4-1-1 counters um okay building up those creatures
So it could be double block bang if we need to. Um, they may start attacking now, but we can just block with shambles. Um, reveal the top cards. Uh, put, ooh, put a card in the opponent's hand. Yep, they can have that. Have another graph diggers. Does build up shambling. It's not legendary, so. We were so close. Kind of only got 19 cards left in the library as well, which is quite funny. They've certainly gone through some cards. I don't know what they're doing with their relics there. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're doing nothing. Okay, here we go. Two black. Three black. Shambles. Okay. Six, three. Not sure why they didn't attack there. They've got creature backup. Really not sure why they didn't attack. Okay. I mean, lucky these don't have trample or anything like that, but they should have easily attacked there, surely. Surely, Mosh. I mean, I suppose double block kill one, but then the, what they had in hand there, you know. Um, yeah, I think we go with Ugin. And then we will plus over here. It's a fatal push, which is not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that other land, though. So we will do no attacks now. We're just going to hold back now. For the time being, opponent can draw. 17 cards, but they're going to find an answer soon. <laughs> uh, but we can stop Fatal Push, one of these, block, which would be really good. Um, block, sacrifice, draw a card. We've got, we've got things we can do. Colors Construct, a big Colors Construct. That can just be fatal pushed. Okay. Bit of life gain. So I suppose now we're going for the draw your deck, please. Because they've got some big creatures there. Big creatures. Monument will help. What a mental game. Hope you're enjoying this one. Let me know what you think of the deck so far in the comments. Ah, oh, they found the Ugin. They found the Ugin. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Typically, they found that Ugin. Um, coming in. Coming in. Um, are they going to come in with the Sodom Syndicum as well? That'd be a little bit annoying. Hold back, please. Okay. Nope. Doing nothing. Oh, coming at us. Coming at us. Oh, think you're clever, eh? Think you're clever, eh? Um, so, pass. We will go... Um, block, 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 three blockers, um, hmm, I really need to draw a card. So I'm going to go pay two, auto pay. I am going to sacrifice this one. Do that. Uh, minus one, one there. Submit. Resolve. Gets minus one, one. We resolve. We get to draw another dock. 
that dies they don't draw a card we get fatal push into our hand to deal with the other shambling or this our turn plague crafter eh well they're just going to sack the solemn which is a little bit annoying let's plus here we get a two three we play Forsaken Monument. Puts it up to a 4-4. Four, four. Um, Dockside. I mean, I can Fatal Push something. Probably... It's just that Ugin again is going to do us, isn't it? It's going to do us. Um... I mean, Dockside makes no difference, I suppose. They could... Mm, makes no difference. I think we just stay as we are. End turn. Right. What I got? 16 cards. Okay. It's all too big. Now, I know I probably should just quit, but I, I'm not a quitter. I'm still holding out that they've only got 15 cards in their deck. We're on 18 life. If they want to draw another seven cards, I mean, I'm hoping we just draw removal after removal, but... <laughs> That's probably not going to. But I'm showing you with this really super budget deck how good it can be, and, you know, it really can battle. Um, they're looking at all our creatures they're looking at Ugin they're Ugin their Forsaken Monument um, is this two or less so we have to kill the token okay reveal the cards um, they can have this oh they can have the stone core. No. Put a card in the opponent's hand. Yeah, they can have the stone core. Not the fatal push. 13 cards. So we've... I mean, they can attack with a massive creature here. We probably kill the land. Okay, draw another card. Ugin's up to nine. Three damage there. Kills. Kills our borrowed Ugin. They can attack with crawling. Nothing else. They can attack with the mobilize as well. Okay, more counters for the land. Comes in as a creature. I see the sound is still wrong on Arena as well. We will fatal push the Barons. Boop. Okay. I mean, we're blocked with this. We'll have to block with this as well. Pass. I mean, we could probably... They're coming in. They're coming in. Okay, so uh, pass over. We will block there and kill. Um, block there as well. Sacrifice an artifact creature. Two blockers. And then we will sack... Block. There we go. A fatal push. Lovely. Um, we could kill this now. Um, kill the shambling suit. And then it keeps our creature alive. 
And we take two. That's not too bad. <laughs> oh dear, so funny. Oh, Playcraft. <laughs> it's five damage, but... I mean, I suppose we could do five damage to Ugin, but... This has been the most epic game ever. And I'm only carrying on just because of their cards. Right, Fatal Push, brilliant. Um, I don't suppose it matters, but I suppose they would. Would they sack one of them? No, they just sack the Solemn, wouldn't they? Um, but then we do draw that. No, I suppose we just um, do... Actually, do we attack Ugin? If we attack Ugin, kill the serpent, 810, they've got no more creatures, 810, that's probably what we do, you know. Um, or do we want them to draw the cards, actually? Puts them to five cards. No attacks. End turn. Right. Maybe that's the option. I don't know. Because I can then just go three damage, three damages anyway. I don't think we win it any other way. Uh, we can block this. Uh, put your card you own from exile. Uh, fatal push. No! No! Damn it! Uh, they might think they win there, so we will just hold off. Hold off. Should we say good game? Good game, nearly. Good game. <laughs> We're budget. But we are good. We're attacking there. But I don't know if they still win. I think they still do win. Let me work out the maths. Um, Because they still got a three damage there, so we're at 13. We're at 13. Bang, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're still dead. Because that's a nine now. That's a nine. Okay. Let's kill. Fatal push there. We're still dead because they can just plus Ugin. Um, unfortunately. Down to one. They plus Ugin. Good game. Good game. Right, open in hand. We have some Dockside, a couple of lands. Uh, we are on the draw, so we keep it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Ajani's a welcome. Oh, not life game, please. No. <laughs> this is the one we didn't want to meet. We didn't want to meet this. Um, let's attack in. Um, let's go in with another one. Couple of dock sides. Healer's Hawk. I mean, we're just going to be able to ping these, which is going to be brilliant if we can. Um, I suppose if they want a double block, they can. No, I didn't think they would. Kill the bounty. I mean, we've got some good removal for this. They do have another one. Hopefully they missed a land, because then I'll just kill that one as well. Oh, it doesn't matter if they do. Oh, no, they have to sacrifice it anyway. Sweet. Okay, let's have a look what's in hand. Um, we can't take anything, but they've got a lot of good stuff. Okay. Uh, we will play. We'll attack in. And then we'll destroy the bounty again. We're having none of that. Ah, we get the life key. They kept a greedy one lander because they had all those one land hand. But what's in contrast to the first game? Oh my god. Yes. We take the wins how we get them, everyone. Oh, such a different game. Now, you think, oh, they got land screwed. Yeah, they got land screwed, but they, they have one drops a lot. 
and they kept a hand that they they could work off one mana those those decks. Let's go for another one. Right, not a bad opening hand. We get to go first as well, which is cool. Um, we'll save our Witch's Cottage, hopefully. We'll play our Swamp and pass. Okay, godless. Let's go in with Fenlocker. What gets XR? Let's have a little look. Okay. It was Touch the Spirit Realm. Okay, okay. Um, I don't want to get rid of either of these three other lands, so it's going to have to be this. It comes in tapped. Okay. Um, let's go in. Attack in. Opponent does that. We just pump. We knew they were going to do that anyway, but... Looks like Abzan colours over there. Abzan's with an Elder Fang Disciple. That threw me a little bit. Okay. Oh, well, that's that's um, very annoying. Uh, we'll get rid of a Chupacabra. Of course, when we get him. Chupa comes in. Kill. Uh, no attacks. So some kind of recursion, Abzan recursion deck. Seems fun. Okay. Um, fatal push. Out the way. And attack in. And then we'll play our wand. Collected company, eh? Wow, we're playing some power this time. <laughs> That's what I said about this format. Oh, dear. It comes in. Um, yep, yeah, resolve. Look at that. We are in trouble here. Um, oh, I didn't see the acquisition expert. That was annoying. One's now five. Wow, this is... Yeah. I mean, they could clear the board here. Let's just pump. There we go. Down to 14. Trespasser. Okay. Gets rid of me cheapy cabra. Don't like that. Elvish Visionary. I really like opponent's deck here. I really do. Now, what do we draw? Gonti. Gonti seems decent. Uh, what should we take? We will take the binding. Um, no attacks. So we probably have to kill the flyer. Um, touch the spirit round. Good draw for opponent. Exiles are gone to. Very good draw for opponent there. Now we triple block this if we have to. Uh, we probably destroy the touch now. Although I would like to get rid of the flyer. Because that's just going to peck us. Okay. Get stuff on the graveyard. Nice. Okay. We will double block there. They had removal in hand as well. Typical. Um, opponent is the lucky one. Let's go. Let's kill that over there. Get Gonti back. And then we will get a, another one of these. Because <laughs> it seems decent. <laughs> Please don't top draw something good. Let us be out of block. What they got? Oh, my days. Fatal push gone. Yeah, we're, there's no way we win this game. No way whatsoever. Okay. Block. Now we have to kill the flyer. And we draw a land. Search for a forest. Decline. Comes in again. Kill. Three, four, five, six damage on there. We have a land. Not much else we can do. That's GG's. Um, not this turn, but next turn. Kept back the disciple. Okay. Shamble gas. Um, yep. Decline. Retributive one does nothing. 
We play shambles. And good game. Well, there were some good draws from opponent, but I think, yeah, we just got a bit out of power there. The collected company was the one that ruined us completely there, and they found removal at exactly the right time. Um, but yeah, we were just a bit overpowered there, which does happen, obviously, when you're playing such a budget deck in a, such a heavy format. So this was today's deck. We went 2-2 two and two today, and the deck performed very well, even in its loss. One game was a bit rough, but you can just see against these heavy rare decks you can still get the wins it's not going to be like ultra consistent where you're going to beat every top deck in you know platinums and mythics but this is a great starting point with a few little additions you can you know make with that maybe like i said before if you want to see upgraded versions of these let me know in the comments and then you know if you're still in the end thank you very much for that and i can make videos with upgraded versions of this um of these um really budget decks but this is a way to get into explorer have some fun and then take some scouts as well it's really cool big shout out to my patreons if you support all the work i do especially on the budget series please become a total mtg patreon i would very much appreciate that you can do it for as little as a dollar um that helps out a lot more than all the ads that youtube could ever give me uh trust me but yeah you lot take care i'll see you on the next video